Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, in this video, we are going to be comparing the RTX 3090 against the 3060 in Unreal Engine 4 this time around. Now, I separated these because it'll be easier for people to find in different engines and different software. So with that being said, we are here in Unreal Engine 4 in the Medieval Pack. So as you know, I've been using this Medieval Pack because A, it's free and B, it is absolutely stunning i know even though it's probably not meant for video games but you know i don't care about that too much i like environments in unreal because of virtual production and animation and so on and so forth so that being said let's take a look at our options here we're not going to be running it on cinematic we're going to leave it at epic right here the default settings pretty much so let's go ahead and press play now i'm going to do with dlss as well and it did turn off motion blur so i'm going to make this bigger here Okay, and yeah, let's walk around. We'll just go to the first village and then we'll go. Getting about 60 frames per second, 62 frames per second. Which is definitely doable. And this map is just uh, gorgeous, man. It's just beautiful. Those birds flying in. All right, so let's go run. It looks like 52. I'm going to go to the dark area town because the FPS drops there quite a bit because of the particles, I think, and the smoke effects. Okay, so that's the first area. And it's usually right here. Now it's pretty cool because it looks like Resident Evil 8 used Quixel Mega Scan assets and I did recognize some of the assets there, which is kind of cool, I think. Alright, so here we are in the dark area. As you can see, it dropped down about 53, 52. But man, oh, I, I'm never going to get tired of this map. I really wish Quixel would make more because this is an easy, beautiful map. So is that 64, 65? And yeah, we'll end this right here. As you can see, it got pretty dark. And there it is. Yeah, it dropped down to like 47 whenever it got dark. Now, I was walking around because there is a... Uh, as you can see right there, there is a trigger right there that triggers that change. So yeah, alright. So about 48 frames per second right here without the LSS. All right, so let's press play again in a viewport. So what's cool about this map is they actually showed you how they created this from scratch. They did like a six part series or five part series. So if you want to learn how they created this map, go check their YouTube out. It's Quixel. All right. Okay, so the FPS disappeared. Okay, so we have DLSS on now set on balance. So let's walk around so you can see we're hitting like 80 78 to 80 fps now and to me honestly i don't see the quality change as well i mean i don't see the degradation when turning on dlss so it's pretty cool i think it looks good still in my opinion looking at 62 here 65 let's go to the town And if you haven't seen my previous videos, you are able to nanite some of these assets because they're just static mesh. Like defenses, definitely nanite in Unreal Engine 5. So I think we're hitting the 70 frames per second mark there. Yep, 74. Yep. Alright, so let's run to that dark area once again. So we were getting like 48-ish towards the end there when I was facing the well. Let's see what we get now with uh, balance. Alright, let's walk around. 
and I think the trigger is like right here yeah there it is see it changed the uh, environment got a little foggier and we hear that sound again okay and then we'll face it now like we did so now we're getting like 60 frames per second here and yeah this is pretty good FPS with DLSS on set on balance so yeah next thing we're gonna do is hop in Unreal Engine 4 swap out my RTX 3090 with the 3060 and then we'll go from there time for the 3060 to fight back let's take a look and see uh, first thing we're gonna do is turn off the uh, DLSS go right here and let's turn this off first we'll do off and then we'll turn it back on let's make sure the options are still the same epic 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 good let's play make this bigger here I'm actually pretty shocked at the performance of the 3060 to be honest so here we go press full screen getting about 30 frames per second wow I would have thought this would be like a 20 but no this is a uh, pretty darn good considering all the prices I mean the price difference between the two cards Yeah, 26 frames per second I mean that's just pretty cool because there's so many options now you got the 3060 Ti then 3070 3080 3090 I like that variation because it you really depends on your how much money you got you know you're not just stuck with one card that's why I've always liked Nvidia I've been a video user for a while and it's usually you know I started with I think I started with the 4080 and then 580 and then just pretty much went up from there but yeah it looks like 28 frames per second 26 and yeah this is gonna start dropping here so my guess is we're probably gonna be in the low 20s whenever we get in this dark scene here whenever i trigger the uh floor trigger yeah i'm starting to drop okay so let's trigger that 26 and like i said there's i don't think this was uh, optimized for gaming at all so keep that in mind all right so we triggered it already and it's dark now as you can see right there yeah i'm dropping at like low 22 and then we will face the uh well again uh, around 24 24 frames per second in this map in 4k Turn our balance in, and then I'll do the performance as well, so I can just kind of show you what that looks like. All right, here we go. 40 frames per second here in the beginning. 39, 38, 40. Not 37. Beautiful map, man. All right, 31. All right, let's go. 33, 34. So a little bit more than we had earlier. I would say around eight frames more, maybe nine, close to 10. Now nah, we're at 40 right now. We're actually breaking force right now. 40, yeah, 40, 40. 32, 30. All right, let's hit that trigger again. Let's hit it from this side. Oh, sorry, there's a rock there. Yeah, 45, 44, it's not too bad. All right, here we go. It's pretty cool, as soon as you turn around, it's like nighttime. Okay, 29. All right, so now we'll do the slow turn. There's our final frame. About 33 frames per second. Now let's turn it to ultra performance and then we'll just run straight in here. Save. Ultra performance. Again, around 
45, 46 frames per second. Down to 35. Down to 30. Let's run in here. Yeah, you can see it take a hit a little bit on the ground there and the grass. Cool, 40 frames. I think we were at 30. For using the LSS on balance mode. Okay, let's trigger it. Thirty frames right here. Okay. Let's turn slowly. Okay, so same frame right here. Getting about 42 to 44, 45-ish on DLSS Ultra Performance.